So again, we were talking about the cam view. So let's go over here to preferences, down here to where it says cam view. We'll go ahead and open that up. And you see by default, the cam view is on. Again, if you don't want cam view to show up, turn that off and then go up here to config, store config. And then if you want the cam view, you just gotta go in here to preferences, cam view and turn it on. Now the cam view is really useful for orienting yourself in ZBrush space. Of course, we have a dog selected, but if you just have a sphere, you don't know what the front of a sphere or the back of a sphere is in ZBrush. You're just kind of in a void. It's a little bit easier to tell with a dog. This is the front of the dog here. So we're just clicking and dragging in our document, and we're rotating this dog around. And you see our cam view is updating as well. So if I want to go to the front of the dog, I can click this blue arrow. And it's <laughs> I went to the back of the dog. You can click the blue arrow again. That'll go to the front. And then you have top and bottom, left and right. You can also click on the cam view and just click and drag and that'll rotate around. And you see while you're navigating in ZBrush, that'll help you orient yourself in space. It'll also kind of act as a reference guide. If you're going to be sculpting ahead, this is a really great reference for having the planes of the face. And in fact, we go over here to cam view and we click next. You can cycle through all sorts of different default cam views. So if you want skeleton reference, you can go over here and have a skeleton guiding you in ZBrush, and you can also use it for reference. Now, if it's a little bit small for you, just go over here to cam view size and crank that up, and now it's a little bit bigger. You're also gonna see a make cam view. It's a little bit early to get into the specifics of making your own cam view, but if you wanna dive deep on that, go in here to my ZBrush 2020 What's New. Click in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see it starts right off with cam view, same on my YouTube channel, 2020 What's New learn all about cam view, how to make your own, etc. So let's go ahead and go over here to cam view and just turn that off. And let's talk about this thumbnail view. If we wanna see more options, let's close cam view and we'll open up a thumbnail over here in our preferences menu. And again, we have thumbnail on or off. And if you want it off when you start up again, thumbnail off, config, store config. And now when I start up ZBrush every time, cam view and thumbnail is gonna be off until I go over here and say, Thumbnail, turn on. So while we rotate around, you're gonna see we see a silhouette of our object, and this is really useful for just kind of evaluating what you're working on from a distance in a more of a silhouette or a general way, and making sure that it's reading or messaging effectively, again, from further away, and in this case, a silhouette view. Now, it doesn't have to be a silhouette view. You can turn off silhouette, and it'll just be a smaller view of your object. But if you do have silhouette selected, you can see there's a background color in here. If you click and hold on this and then drag around your interface, you're gonna see it's gonna be just picking up colors from your ZBrush interface. Uh, if we go over here and choose gray, essentially what it's gonna do is choose the complementary color of whatever you're picking. So in this case, it's kind of an off-white. If we go down here to red, it's gonna give you like a blue-green. Green's gonna give you a magenta, etc. But generally speaking, I'm just gonna roll over this black color here and I can have a white silhouette, or of course, white's gonna give you a black silhouette as it changes that background color. Now there is a size option right here. You can also just click and drag in the corner and make it a bigger size or a smaller size if you want. You can also magnify it. It's gonna make it bigger, but also it's gonna give it a little bit more of an aliased look. And another cool thing, if you want quick access to this, you can just say export thumbnail, and you can export this as a PNG, JPEG, TIFF, etc. Let's go ahead and cancel out of there. And we'll go ahead and turn off our thumbnail and close that menu.